Hey folks, today I wanna to talk about a C7 or triceps reflex. I wanna talk about how to optimize performing a deep tendon reflex of that particular uh, level. Um, if you have loss of a C7 reflex compared to the other side, you need to be somewhat suspicious that there may be a nerve root problem coming from the cervical spine. Of course, you would add that to the rest of the cluster of radiculopathy type issues. Uh, but today we're gonna to just focus on that C7 or triceps deep tendon reflex. Flex. So what I want to do is I really want to get this patient in a really relaxed position here. Uh, I want to find this tricep tendon. One of the ways you can do that if you can't really get a good feel for where that tendon is, is you can offer a little bit of resistance here to extension and you can feel right where that tendon is. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw it just for the ease of the demonstration and reflex testing, good right there. Okay, so what we do here is we get that patient to really relax, let the arm hang, and we want to strike that tendon in a perpendicular manner, okay? So we don't want to be like this. Um, it's best if we can get here. Some people like to use the sharper tip. It gets in a little bit faster, but the key here is the speed of which you strike it and you need to release and let it bounce back, okay? So we're gonna give it a go here. I want you really to relax that arm and we're gonna give that tendon a strike. And there we have the extension of the elbow. We're gonna do it one more time. Very good, okay? So that is how you would perform a C7 deep tendon reflex or a triceps reflex. It's good that you practice with both sides because sometimes it's a little bit harder to do it on your non-dominant uh, hand. And even just taking the hammer and bouncing it on a table just a few times like this um, can make that easier and better, okay? So thank you so much for watching our video today on uh, deep tendon reflexes and for C7 especially. And uh, if you liked our video, please give us a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. Thanks.